G'day. Here's a very curious question for middle schoolers, which goes as follows. A certain calculator has only two keys, plus one and times two. When you press one of the keys, the calculator automatically displays the result. For instance, uh, if the calculator originally displayed nine, and you press the plus one, it would display 10, okay? If you then pressed times two, it would display 20. You get it, two buttons, plus one times two, Press the button, it does it to whatever the number's on the screen right then and there. Got it. Starting with the display one, what is the fewest number of keystrokes you would need to reach 200? Huh. So all I can do is plus ones and times twos. I'm going to start with the number one and get to the number 200 in the most efficient way possible. How many keystrokes is that? Hmm. I have no idea how to begin with this question. No idea how to think about it. Well, strategy number two, do something. Let's just do something. Um, I'm saying with one, let me just apply stuff to it. Let's play it. So if I press the plus one, but one button, plus one, I get to two. Or if instead I press the times two button, oh, I also get to two. All right. Either way, you've got to get to two as your first step. Next step. Well, I guess I go either plus one. Now I've got choices. Plus one gets me to three, or times two gets me to four. So after two steps, I'm either at three or four. Three steps. Let's do it. Plus one is four, times two is six. Or plus one is five, times two is eight. So after three steps, I'm one of these numbers. Do you want to do four steps? Ugh. Add one or times two, add one or times two, add one or times two, add one or times two. Ugh. This is getting very complicated. Somehow I'm going to see how many steps it takes me to get to 200. Hmm. Hmm. Well, one thing I seem to notice that Doubling seems to be always be more powerful than adding one. Seems like doubling is like a more, gets me bigger quicker. So maybe doing lots of times twos is a good way to get up to 200. So I'm quite sure what that does for me. Hmm. Well, actually, actually, I want to get to 200. Maybe if I start backwards, for example, if I did 200, ah, okay, an official way to get there would be from doubling. So maybe it came from times twoing from 100, which maybe came from times twoing from 50. Oh, that's a nice way of doing it. Well, maybe that came from times twoing from 25. 25 didn't come from times twoing anything, so that must have come from plus oneing. Can I say things like that? Yeah, it's just me. I can do say what I like. Uh, must come from 24. Um, times twoing seems to be most efficient. That must come from 12. Times twoing must have come from six. Times twoing must have come from three. Oh, that's odd. So I can't times two, but that must have come from plus oneing from two, which must have come from one, either plusing or timesing. Okay. Here is a path that gets me to 200 in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine steps. I can definitely get to 200 in nine steps. It used some plus ones and some time, lots of times twos. Okay, that's a first guess. Maybe the answer is nine steps, but I guess what I'm worried about now is just because I happen to stumble upon a path in nine steps doesn't mean there's one in fewer steps out there. Hmm, could I prove that you can't get to 200 in eight steps? Or could I find a path that gets to 200 in eight steps? Maybe I could do better than nine. There's a real mystery. All right, all right, well, so I've got us halfway there. I've got a candidate for an answer. It looks like nine is a good possible answer. So now I've got some more deep mulling to do here. Is nine the best possible answer? I have a feeling it might be. I did a lot of times twos in there. But uh, not convinced, not absolutely sure. So mull on this too. I invite you to mull on this. I'm going to mull on it as well. And when I've got my thoughts together, I'm going to write an essay that goes with this video. And I'll come with my conclusions. Is it nine truly the answer? Or could I do it eight or maybe even seven steps, actually? Oh, gosh. Mull on it. And when you're ready, let's compare results by looking at the essay that goes with this video. This is really cool. This is, this is deep. All right, it's good stuff. Thank you. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.